Whoa, what you reading there, Luigi? Um, I guess that's a cool story, bro. I mean, I can read it if you can. Luigi sure has an active imagination. Hey, what's up, guys? Well, it's five o'clock some more. Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, we went to the swamp thing right here. And we did that. And we surprisingly actually did pretty good on it. And in this episode, well, I have a lot of explaining to do. Uh, you might notice that my star count is two ahead of what, uh, it was last episode. And that these two galaxies are already open. Yeah, uh, what happened was, I had recorded about a half an hour of footage, which is about two stars. I know it's sad, but, uh, I was working on my third one, but, you know, that kind of failed there, but... Uh, I had recorded those stars, but I don't know why, but my computer just deleted them. I mean, they didn't delete the commentary, but they just deleted the video, so... Yeah, basically what I'm going to be doing this episode is I'm going to be going back to those stars and showing them, since I didn't actually do them on camera. But, you're going to notice that they are not gold, they're going to be, you know, clear. So, uh, you know, pranks of the comedy, you know, I'm not doing that yet, that is going to be next episode, hopefully, I don't know. So, this is the Boss Blitz Galaxy, and mission number one, Throwback Throwdown. So, as you can see, you can see my time down at the bottom, which is how good I did it, which, I didn't do it very good, but, you know, I actually thought those episodes were pretty good, but, you know, things happen, you delete them. It, it, it didn't happen very often. I mean, I didn't delete them, my computer just kind of deleted them, but, ah, whatever. Let's go back and do that now. Alright, so if you guys love the first galaxy game, you guys are going to love this galaxy. Yeah, I said galaxy a lot, but let's spin the tail and open up our first boss. It's Feedy Piranha! I think that's what his name is. Alright, so Feedy Piranha, uh, if you guys play the first game, you guys know who this is. If you spin his tail, that is how, uh, his, that is his weak point, and you want to keep spinning that. And every time you hit him, he's gonna keep raging. He's gonna keep on raging, man. So you just want to keep hitting him, and... As you can see, there's a ghost just inside us. You can see those arrows right there. There is a ghost because I already completed this mission, as I already told you a couple times. So that is the first boss down. Yeah, pretty cool. What? There's more? I mean, I thought that was the end of the mission. There's, there's no more. What is that ghost doing? Hey, I want to do that too. I want to copy him. That's kind of okay. Whatever. Let's go. So, this is the second boss of this galaxy, and the second main boss of the galaxy. Yeah. Well, I guess the second boss you actually didn't defeat in this game wasn't the second boss of the galaxy. Whatever, I guess these are just the main boss that Nintendo liked, because they wanted to bring them back or something. I don't know, I guess they wanted to show some old stuff of the original galaxy, because I guess some people liked it or something. I don't know. I mean... I liked it, and it was a really good game, and it was awesome, it was one of the first, actually it was the first, uh, Galaxy game for Wii, I mean, not the first Galaxy game for Wii, the first Super Mario game for Wii, yeah, because it came out, uh, shortly after, well, not shortly after, but, like, about a year after the Wii launched. So, here's our third boss, you guys might know him very well, he is the little mole guy. And he's got a blue shell on his head. Hopefully he doesn't throw that at me, and I won't go back to, like, 6th place in Mario Kart. Yeah, th th this guy's probably gonna come back to me in Mario Kart, he's gonna be like, Oh, you sucker, that's what you get for defeating me in Galaxy 2! And then he throws a shell at me when I'm first. And I go back to, like, 12th. So, he downgrades the shell, which, uh, it couldn't really see that, because I skipped the cutscene. But his shell is now red, you can see it right now. So we actually downgraded his shell as he got more rage in kind of weird, but whatever. So he's gonna go back and we're gonna have to do that and get him. Yes, we can. That was pretty good. One time. Wow. I usually don't do that good. I guess I practice a lot, didn't I? Because I actually um had trouble with the practice come, and that's why I didn't, didn't do that mission yet. But that was actually the one in progress that I was doing. But uh I had a lot of uh, practice doing because I was not being able to do it, so I kept you know, do it. And now, I guess I'm pretty good at the boss. Luma D, Luma Bop, welcome to the Luma Shop. I can sell you something helpful for only 30 star bits. Yeah, sure, I guess we'll buy a life. I don't think that's called a life. Most people call it like a super shroom or a health extension or something like that. It's not called a life. Usually you think it's a one up as a life, but, but you called a life a one up, so I guess it's the same thing. I don't know. 
What I like to do here is I'd like to try to jump into center, I don't know why. And I didn't mean to home and ground down there. Okay, whatever. This is the fourth boss of this mission. And yeah. This guy is Bouldergeist, and he is the one that always gives me the most trouble in this mission. The one that always takes me the most time. Yeah. Pretty much what we gotta do is, if you didn't play the first Galaxy game, you gotta throw the ghosts at him. Yeah. Right. Oh. I know some people a while ago wanted me to do uh, Galaxy as a walkthrough, and I'm kind of thinking about it, but I don't know. I'm gonna put more thought into that. I mean, it is a good game, but I just did this game, so if I did, it would be a while. Oh, these gold ones. Oh, what? You, ha you had to do that. Oh, there's still one. Okay, works for me. Once you hit him like four times, he turns into this ghost thing, and then you get to use another ghost, other ghost disappear, and if you hit him, not the ghost blinky like that, okay, good. Because if it blinks for too long while it's still in your hand, you're gonna get hurt by it. Come on. Here we go, yes, okay, good. Now he's gonna go into his second phase, because he has hands. Yeah, spoilers for like five seconds later. His hands, none other than that, floating hands. Yeah, what do you expect from a ghost? Alright, so you want to stay out of your way when he's trying to hit you, and yeah. You should count how many times I say yeah in this episode. I don't know, I'm probably gonna say like, what, 69 more times? Bad pun. Look, even though it wasn't a pun, it wasn't funny either. So I don't get it. Uh, if you do hit his hands, they are going to come back, so you'd probably want to hit his body, because his body actually is his weak point, as you can see in the first phase. But if you hit his hands, they're just gonna come back, so. Let's see, I wanna. Yes, okay. I was about to get hit by that. Oh, can I spin his hand? I've never tried it. No, I guess not. I'm close enough to it though. Maybe. And here in a second phase, he's gonna do two of these things. You can actually spin these things to get rid of them. There's a. Not really a little known fact, but not many people know that. It's not like I find these things out. I mean, I don't search videos for this stuff. I actually find this stuff out myself. I bet like a million other people know it already. As that's what usually happens, and then that ghost die? Yes, it did. I hate when ghosts die because other ghosts hit them. Yeah, that, that makes sense, Nintendo logic. Cough, cough. Yeah, oh, two ghosts, this is cool. Oh, finally! Wow, we're actually doing pretty good. I only got hit once? Okay, die, thank you. Alright, so that is the fourth boss. There's only one more left. Could you guess who it is? It's... Pointless little planet! Yay! Remember those things in Galaxy where you had little pointless planets just so the game could load? Yeah, those things are coming back. I guess they were up throughout the whole game, but I'm talking about them now. So here he is, the last boss of the mission, and the fiery version of the first boss. Yeah. Yes, okay. One second later and I would've got hit by that. But basically you gotta do the same thing for this boss as you did the first boss, except this boss is fiery, so you wanna wait until he goes unfiery, and then you can hit him. If you hit him while he's fire, then you're gonna get hit. I almost got hit there. Wow. I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. It was right in the fire's path. Surprising! I never do this good. Why am I doing so good now? Yeah, I, I, I was talking about doing good off camera, now I'm doing good on camera. I don't get it either. Now he's gonna throw fireballs at us, and his tail's gonna go on and off even faster. So you're gonna have to be extra careful with this, and... Nope. Get another fire. Oh, you know, we had to get at least one hit by this guy. Can I... No, I'm, I'm nowhere near Can I... Thank you! And that's it! He's down. And here comes our prize. For defeating those five bosses. Oh my god, we got a crystal star for defeating five bosses. That That's such a great prize, Nintendo. Nah, just kidding. I already collected the gold star, so... You can tell that it's, uh, crystal because I got it, I said like a million times already, but whatever. That is the star for the first mission. Yeah. Alright, so, I think we're doing good all time, so I think we're gonna go do the other mission. Uh, actually what happened in that episode, since it was actually from the first episode, I only did one, uh, mission in the first- Of course it has to appear now. See, I, I had a problem with Pranks of the Comets appearing in the first episode, so I only did one mission, and that was the one you just saw. So, I went over the next episode, and I went to this, and then that comet was in a, well, then this comet appeared. So then I was about to do that, but I couldn't do that, and then this one didn't appear, but now it did, of course, and I did that, so... 
you know, it, it's crazy how these pressure comets appear. I don't get it. But anyway, here we go, the flip out galaxy. Since this has the other mission that I did. Max to come, we're not gonna do it yet. So, wicked wall jumps. Oh, did I mention uh this galaxy actually is the last galaxy in the game? Yeah. Oh, look who we're meeting! From the beginning of the game. The spin and jump bunnies! Remember, these guys are the good of the game who told you to spin and jump? Because you gotta spin and jump in this game, just like you did in the mission of the first world. You gotta spin and jump. Because that's the mechanics of this game. Spinning and jumping. It's not game, this mission. So pretty much what you're gonna have here is your usual blue and red blocks. If you spin, it will switch between the blue blocks and the red blocks. So you wanna be careful there. If you are standing under a blue block and you spin it and... See, they will disappear, so you're gonna follow... Yeah. It can lead to a lot of deaths, just like it did in the first world, yeah. There is a platform here, but I like to stay up, I don't know why, but I just fell down anyway. So I don't get what point that was anyway. Anyway, <laughs> just trying to get it through. Oh wow, I actually didn't touch the bottom there. And up here we're going to have these spiders. You want to spin them because, you know, you always want to spin spiders. Anyway. Right, that sounded really wrong. No, it did really, but whatever. <laughs> Star bits, even though they are gonna spin since you're moving your controller around. Um, I imagine it always like the mechanics of, you know, the uh, motion controls. I don't know, I just like it. I bet mean, a lot of people do too. Let's try to get a good bit jump there. Alright, there we go. And there are going to be spikes here, so I wanna watch out and stay there and see if we can backflip onto the blue one. Yes, we can. And I'm just gonna wait for the spikes again. The spikes are all in a pattern. You're all going to uh, go up and down at the same time. Here you want to jump in midair, and that's what we're going to be doing at the uh, end of the mission too. So that's what you got to do for this portion. I want to stay on, please. Thank you. Uh, if you get hit by, a whoa, combo breaker, God. <laughs> all right, that, that wasn't a combo breaker. I didn't even hit all three of them. Let's try to. Oh God, we're gonna. Yeah, if you get hit by the spikes, you're pretty much dead, because then you gotta do that, and then you gotta wait for it. Up here, I like to get this one up, just because I like it. Let's see if we can actually get it. Please. Thank you. Alright, so just... I like to jump on this until the spikes go away, because it makes it easier. And then just spin, and then you keep going. What I do like to do is, like, just keep long jumping, and then the spikes can't really hit you. Except if you do that... Yeah, that, that that's great. Oh my god, the commentary is so boring! So much better for the other episode. Let's try to get these guys. That took me forever getting the comp medal too, so I don't know. Let's try. I need to stop talking about it. There we go. Got some better luck this time. Can you move? Thank you. Not. I don't want to. I just. Whoa! 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 How did I do that? Oh my god. Wow, I never do that good. Alright, so what I like to do here is I like to keep the uh, red things on. You want to long jump over here, spin, and then you got this thing, so you want to get a jump, and then jump like that, and you can get the comp medal, even though I already got it, so there's no point in doing that. But, I guess I showed you guys it, so there kind of was a point in the kind of, I don't know. Don't die now, Luigi. Speaking of Luigi, where's Mario? I need Mario. You no, know, Mario's missing, so... I think we're gonna need him back soon. I mean, God, this mission's too hard without him. We've had him for the whole game. Why does he suddenly disappear now? Oh, God, wow. We are having some good skill in this episode. Wow. Why am I doing so good suddenly? This is not me. Right, so what we gotta do here is you gotta not fail like that. Wow, again, I did good. Surprising. I guess if you do that, it makes it good, weirdly. So what you gotta do here is you gotta jump like that, then you gotta grab one of this one, and then you gotta jump in there, and then you gotta do that. And then up here you got to jump, 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 jump. Yep, I made it. Wow. That's a pretty good episode. I've like never done this good at this game. Is it's because I've like practiced so much, I don't know why. So let's get our second crystal star. And that is the only one left. Yeah, the only crystal star left. There's still more gold stars to go. There's only a 69 to go. Oh, I, I actually made a little remix of a song that uh, you guys might know. The uh, 
just like this Green Day song, and then you guys remember it. Uh, a couple months ago, Nintendo Capri Sun made a remix of it about uh, finding green stars. He was like 40 stars away from completing it. And he was in this game, and he's talking about like green stars and stuff. I actually made a remix of that. I don't know why I'm talking about that, but uh, I actually might upload it because I got some people to sing it. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. I don't know. It, it's kind of inappropriate. But <laughs> what what isn't inappropriate on this channel? Uh, what sex? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, I think that's going to end this episode off of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Join me in the next episode, we're going to be doing those two prankster comments that finally appeared after I've been waiting so long for it. Yeah, it's just an episode of getting, you know, stars that we got rid of, but, yeah. So, I pretty much did a half an hour of footage in 15 minutes. Wow. That's pretty good. Epic music. I don't know why I'm saying that again. But I better run this episode off before I uh, embarrass myself even more. So next time in Super Mario Galaxy 2, we're going to be doing these two missions, as I just said, uh, that finally appeared. So, I'll be seeing you guys then.